So I'm very excited for today, guys. Today we are currently high on, I forgot, installation. Yes. Uh, I keep forgetting things. Uh, do not get mad at me. Also all over the place. Don't get mad at me. Just deal with it. Uh, so yeah, so if anyone wants to say anything about any of the pieces that I am showing, you can unmute yourself and go ahead or you can just write it in the chat section. If you have any questions or comments, please do the same. Um, we'll go through three things, three pieces I've picked up. So uh, three installations I've picked up. Uh, there's a fine line between installation, performance art and sculpture. And I will explain a little bit that in, in about a minute or so. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I had to select three uh, because three is not enough and it's more than enough. But uh, I actually do have five, uh, at least honestly speaking, I have seven uh, that I selected. But obviously, I'm not going to talk about the seven. It's fine. I have self-control. So <laughs> we'll do three of them. Um, also, there is a new lineup that I have put up today, which I was not supposed to say, but uh, <laughs> try and control my anxiety. <laughs> I can't. Uh, so that is up. Uh, I'm gonna keep coming back to some stuff. So you know, last time when I did performance art, I was not able to uh, select all the things that I wanted to select for it. So performance art is gonna come back again, the same way. Installation will also come back. So anyway, I have waited long enough. I'll start my with my introduction so that uh, if there are some people who are still coming in, can join in. And by that I mean my mother. Some she's not here. She's not. She's nowhere. I can't hear her, but she's still not here. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So, um, what is install? What is the difference between installation, performance art, and sculpture? Very minute difference. And installation can also be a sculpture. An installation can also be a performance art. A performance art after it's done can turn into an installation or a sculpture. Um, so, performance art was defined with with. Uh, it taking time, space, and emotions into consideration. Um, in installation, it's basically taking up space. It could take up time, but it mostly takes up space. Um, and uh, sculpture is a sculpture. Sculpture, you can buy a sculpture, you can keep a sculpture, you can't really buy a performance piece. Uh, you can buy installations, like sculpture forms of installations, but again, you get the point. So there's a very thin line between the difference between all of them. Uh, so we are going to see installations today. So installations happen in an absolutely ridiculous amount of ways. Uh, there are sides of uh, Yes, then man. Uh, do does does are there like certain forms of architecture and architectural setups which come under installations? If we like a bunch of the weird houses we did last time, I'm guessing they can also we can't we can consider them installations, right? So I no, I don't think they are counted as installations because they were they were used by people. So from what I've understood in architecture, difference between architecture and installation is that as, as soon as someone is able to use it, it is turning into architecture. That is a, an observation I have. Like that's, that's me doing one plus one is equal to two. Ki architecture is not installation because architecture is when you're using the entire building into, into things. So it's, it's an architectural phenomenon or architectural beauty that is standing there. That's true. Uh, there, so, like Mitu said, installation is uh, when it is uh, made with a certain purpose, uh, there is a motto behind it or something, but as soon as people start dwelling into it, it becomes an architecture. There, I mean, there's a sheer difference between like, as soon as life enters that certain uh, thing, it taken consideration into uh, an architecture, I mean, or an office space or whatever, howsoever beautiful. It is made, uh, but uh, uh, if, 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 you know, I mean, uh, it's, it's inhabited by uh, humans or whatever. It, it turned into out. architecture. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. you can carry on forward. <laughs> exactly as Mama said. Also, uh, though Tanmay, uh, if, if it is like, an, I mean, again, if you are habit, if you're habiting, if you're inhabiting it, for a long period of time, it is architecture. However, if you're doing it for like a small piece of time where like it is going to affect it in some way or if it's just for like, oh, you should walk in and walk out for like a limited amount of time, that would make it into a performance piece because you're using that piece to feel something, to, to have a conversation with it. So that will become a performance piece and uh, um, or a sculpture or a sculpture. And not architecture, but architecture is you the, the small so Frank, line. Frank Kafka's. Wo sculpture hai. 
that is culture see it's moving it's moving it's performing on its own and it's having a dialogue between the audience and uh, uh, installation in, bilkul nahi hai but installation bilkul nahi hai no because it's not going to go away ah it, okay got it, okay. Got in, it got in that it. case in that case it's not moving away it's not like usne install kiya fir wo chala gaya it's going to stay there forever so that is a sculpture piece so are tableaus a good example of thing something that is also performance art and installation tableau which one no i don't know what you don't know sorry a tableau any tableau like uh, you know tableaus are right <laughs> i say so yes, tableau no. tableau is a tableau is basically when like a group of people put uh, they either uh, they play, uh, pose in a particular way uh-huh. uh huh it's a set of people it's like it's like if you yes. want to if you want to convey like you know uh, the nativity scene then yeah or, then that is a performance piece Yeah, its performance piece yeah. is also can it also be termed an installation because it's not going to be there for good. It it, it goes away after a point. Yes, so correct. You obviously Very cannot much. stand in that position forever. Yeah. Okay. Very much so. Yes, yes, yes. But it will be more of a performance because it's it's taking up your time. Also, it's not just taking up space. So, imagine your installation okay. mostly taking up your space. So it's in priority. Okay. It's taking up more of your space. Okay. That is taking up your time and space, and you know, just like creating an entire environment that will come in under performance piece. It's also showing you something in right. regards to whatever right. it is showing you, whatever the theme may be. You know. Gotcha. Republic Day wala presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Anjali. Okay. So yes. So I'm done waiting, guys, because आगे बढ़ना पड़ेगा वरना time खत्म हो जाएगा. So today I don't know where to start because uh, usually I have like. Acha, okay, this is cool, and this is like really cool. It's like, oh my god, super cool today. I'm like cool, <laughs> so I don't know which to start with. Um, but I will start with something which will have a smaller discussion. So the piece that I'm going to show you first. Look, oh, ये वाला दिखाऊँ पहले चलो ठीक है ओके आई शो यू दिस वन आई शो यू दिस वन. So yeah. So wait, wait, wait. I can't see. I can't see the chat. Ruk jao. Thamba ki. Ha. Ah. Uh, so this is the first piece. Ah, uh, this is not the one I wanted to start with, but it's here, and I will go with it. So um, this is a piece called "Time Changes Everything." Um, this was made in 2015, and this is made by a street Indian street artist called Daku. D A K U all caps. If you want to know uh, about him, hold on. I'm going to first share something else, which will give you a better example of what this is. Okay. Do you see that? Do Do you see how? Do you see how the sun is changing the way you look at it? Let's take it in for a second, and then I will go back to the images. So basically, he played around with the sun's light. um yes there is chart i can't see chart sorry you know i'm all over the place wait for a second um sounds like kali from patiala house daku yeah <laughs> yes daku d a k u uh this guy's work is in delhi now yes this guy's work is in delhi this specific piece is in delhi uh, so we don't know much about daku because obviously he's a street artist we can't know a lot about street artists otherwise wo jail mein honge bechare uh, so all we know about him is his timeline and his work so he actually started with a bunch of he started in 2008 he started with a bunch of uh, new york based street artists uh, he did some work with them in in uh, i think till where i remember in la seattle and new york uh when he came to india he did a he did a bunch of work uh with other other artists who what were their name wait weird names i have not heard of them before bond and zine i have not heard of bond and zine um but yeah so he started writing his name uh, first in uh, uh what in uh, uh sorry someone's coming sorry <laughs> Yes, he <laughs> started writing his name um, in Hindi. He started writing it in uh, Devan Devanagari, and then he started writing it in English, like D A K U. Uh, the first time he wrote it uh, and he presented something on his own was in in Goregaon, where he put up his name. Um, and then he started doing these, and he's done some really interesting work. Uh, for example, he wrote K U D A, 
right? K U space D A on garbage cans, just kuda. <laughs> but it's also an anagram for his name, which I thought was really, really interesting. Um, he also put up. I tell you, this was very interesting. Um, he also put up Math Do in Kanot place uh, uh, because he didn't want people to vote. So it was like Math Do with with a middle finger and uh, uh, the you know the, the, the vote wala sign. Um, then he wrote, uh, "This is commercial. This is com- commissioned vandalism." When he was asked to uh, make something for Indian in Indian art fair, so. Fun stuff. Uh, you can you can find him wherever, but uh, not a lot of literature on him uh, as such. So this is a piece that he he uh, made in Lodhi, 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 no, New Delhi, Lodhi colony, um, and it was commissioned by. Uh, it's not commissioned actually. It was uh, the Indian street artists coming together and uh, uh, you know, artifying uh, uh, places. Um, so this piece is in, in specific, I really enjoyed. Uh, it's called Time Changes Everything. And I think that is so self-explanatory because uh, not just that the words are changing, uh, right, hold on, wait, just one. Not just the fact that the words are moving and you'll be able to see them much clearer when they are, when it's like a 12, uh, 12 noon overhead sun, but also that the idea behind it is that the words that you read, it's not, it's not a sentence, it's not a paragraph. The words that you actually read are also changing over time in age. So if, if you, right now for you, fame might mean something about 10 years down the line, fame might mean something else to you. Um, so in the relation that it's not just changing, it's not just like a sundial, but it's also the, the, the explanation, the connotations of the words uh, that you're seeing here changes as you grow old or as you as you move, you know, um, it's very interesting. Also, he's also trying to show the fickle nature of, of age um, and street art. So it, it, it is ever changing. You can't actually hold on, hold on to one place. You can't hold on to one uh, idea. You can't hold on to, you know, like a, a piece of memory and just keep going on and on forever. It's, it's, it's ever changing and it's, um, it's just ever changing and that that's exactly why I like this so much. The, especially when you see your, um, the way that it is moving with the sun and it has this on its own, it's, it's coming in and it's going away in the evening. You will not see anything, you know, if you're standing right in front of it. Um, but in the morning you would have some idea of it more so in the afternoon, just, just the words coming in and out, having their own meanings, having their mean different separate meanings for each other and you know individual people I, I thought that was that was really really interesting what do you guys think what do you guys think so some words that i can read are emotions um space seasons time age your body mind experience reflection and i do believe that all of these words do change in connotations from time to time for for everyone what my explanation or my connotation of emotion will be very different from someone else's. Uh, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? Piece? Someone unmuted and then, yes, Devesh Mama, please go ahead. So uh, in this art, uh, sorry, installation that he's done here, most of the uh, words are very uh, metaphorical to, you know, life. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, you know, I mean, time goes like every day sun rises and sun sets mm-hmm. and what happens in a person's life, uh, he's pondered upon those aspects uh, from any walk of life and he's just put it there out. You know, I mean, you get knowledge, you are, uh, um, you know, reality, space, uh, everything, meaning, uh, whatever he's saying. I mean, things, uh, uh, things that, uh, you know, you generally don't uh, talk about, but they are, you introspect about it. So he's mentioned all of those things. Like, so it's a very introspective and metaphorical way of, uh, uh, you know, representing life. You're so right. Yes, it is an introspect. You know, you stand there, you're reading something, all the hustle bustle, you will wait for a second, look at the words and start thinking, you know, why? Why curiosity? Why, why reality? Why idea? Why color? probably it'll spark another idea and you'll keep going and connecting to another idea from there. And also loved what you mentioned about the sun, you know, it's like a, it's like a life cycle in its own. It it Uh, comes up. It's a full sundial of your uh, life. And I mean, he talks about, and right in the center, he talks about time, past, present, future. 
that's the best thing like it hits your eye um really i mean what we are what we were what we will be and everything like and below he says perception people memory definition i mean it's Correct. it's he's put those uh, like when a person views a certain thing uh, what captures your eye eyes first mm. it's i think so that, that's why he's he's thought of where to place each and every word also i think so very true he has he has and and they they do have a relation you know because you, you are not just looking at i mean you are function to read at it from left to right so when you read it you will read it at per, as perception people memory and definition in the last line first line you will read as age your month date and day you know so that's really adding on to it yes pragya please go ahead uh so what i feel you know if we see the light of the sun the way it's very clearer in the morning and then as the day goes mm-hmm. ahead and the evening approach it all is going to look like a slanted horizontal line like it fades you yeah. know so Correct. it's like when we are young when we are kids you know we want to try to make meaning of everything in life like we're curious we want to develop perceptions but as we you know start fading into the life as we grow older like you know everything loses its meaning it just fades we just accept things the way they are Correct. and then we end so there's no past present or future you know it just Correct. completely ends when you die or something like that that is i love that yes <laughs> completely agree with you pragya because uh, even like shorter videos also that i've i've seen of you know like a time lapse video you're right in in the beginning it's very crisp and then as, as it's as the sun sets it's kind of fading away not le- not just like going away it's fading away you know it's not as crisp but as it is in as early in the morning i mean obviously there would be a certain fade in fade out but it's not as crisp as it is in the early morning when it starts so yes completely love that because these words you're learning in the beginning of your life and then as you go as you grow older they just kind of stop making sense or stop having that much effect in your life um yeah really like that yes wait i miss chat okay uh, amrita says all the words here are related to art to the art itself letters are opaque you perceive it differently through different time spaces like it changes every minute seconds hours also what you see is a reflection of who uh, who you are in the mo- in that moment what you desire or love out yes completely agree with you amrita there yes i also thought that you pick up the word the, your, your conscious mind just picks up the word that you are feeling or you are more drawn to at that point of time so really really yes completely agree with you there um everything in this art speaks about our engagement with the art itself yes love it vibing hard with you today amrita uh this reminds me of an installation at sasoon docks it had curtains embedded with words that they would oh that would be so cool so uh that actually reminds me tanmay he did uh, daku did <laughs> Daku did uh, another piece uh, in Goa where he laid instead of it being a tarp over uh, over a small uh, uh, small gully, uh, it's actually words. So they move similar to this. They move, but it's kind of like you are. It's it's falling on you like this. You can just see that is kind of falling on you. So it seems like you are walking in this book or a paragraph. Loved it. Um. the art gives a sort of fleeting feel when it's slanted a sense of yes yes the first thing i experience is the passage of time ooh mom would you like to elaborate on the passage of time i mean i i i i for me the passage of time is the sun sunrise and the sunset you know you come up you you go away so you know the way the way the words move you know so they start the, the slant is on one side mm-hmm. and then with the you know with the passage of time the you know it becomes uh, the words become straight and then it slants on the other side Correct. and you know i also feel that every day so every night they go off to sleep and every day in the morning they awaken and you know they are then fully present uh, during the so so that is what i was thinking and it just was very very strong um, that's the first thing that i felt mm-hmm. and then when you look at those words also those words are very important to all of us they really are each of those words and and you know our life revolves around that but in the end it's only one life you know so it starts mm-hmm. and it ends and then it restarts <laughs> you know so it, it, it's like a passage that's how i felt you know it was like a passage of time Yes, very much. Completely agree. Also, um, if you can see that the the words actually, so when the sun comes up, they are actually slanting towards the right. Uh, this is 
what I have brought, got, this is the addition that I have got into it, uh, the explanation. So when the sun comes up from the right, you see that the words are slanting towards your right, correct? Um, in graphology, if you actually think about it, um, when you write and if you are leaning towards the right, that means you're more open to things, you're more open to people, you're more open to ideas and emotions, you're like a free person who loves to just absorb things. Um, then when you, if your handwriting is very straight, then you know, you're, you're like, you, you, you kind of balance things out. You, you think about the right and wrong. You take a decision very specifically on what you want to do, what can happen, you know, just like, it's, it's a very balanced idea. And then in the end, when the sun is setting, which is, you know, again, the slant is backwards, the left, um, in graphology, it basically means that you, you are kind of, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be so ever accepting of things. You are not very open to, uh, uh, you know, ideas. You, you are kind of set in your own ways. Just even the tiny, tiniest slant in graphology mentions that, uh, which is again, uh, uh, mom, when, when you were explaining the passage of time, that is what it reminded me of because like in the, in the beginning, when you, when you, you know, when you, when you are born, you are open to a lot of things. You are the sponge that is absorbing everything. When you come your midlife, you know, you, you, you're doing things the way you want to do, but you're still kind of open to things, kind of not. Uh, and then in the end, you are very comfortable where you are and you don't want to change in any way. So I think that is what I got from it personally. So absolutely loved this piece. Beautiful piece. Um, it's really awesome how we start writing a childhood and then let us... Yes, 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 Sonant. Yes, completely right there. Um, so wait, let me see if I, if I talked about everything. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? All things in life change. Nature of street art. Yes. Lodi the Art pillow. District. This is where it is. Sorry. Yes. Hi. Tell me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so what I have seen in this art is light is playing a more role. Correct. So same way in the life light is more important to understand the real meaning of each word to see the the words impact when it's dark you can't see anything so which is more relevant to the life as well so light is yes. playing a more role in this without oh, light this is impossible oh yes that is so true because it's like shining a light onto these things and giving you a better oh yes love that yes thank you absolutely love that Completely agree. I'm vibing with you also today. Loved it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just, sorry. Uh, yes, completely agree with you. What else? Um, I think the architecture elements also play a significant role. Hmm. Would you like to elaborate, Sagar? Please go ahead. Um, I do think yeah. so too. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah. I think that uh, yeah, we're just seeing the words and we're trying to relate it. Hmm. But I'm sure the artist might have thought about uh, the elements like the chajja or the overhang that is there. True. It means shelter, right? But there's no shelter expressed in his words on the wall. True. So I think we can even consider that and not only focus on things we just see. Yes. Also, there is this this breakup because of the, the windows, you know, the very dark breakup, black breakup from the windows, which is also giving you a sense of relief. Otherwise, it would just be like a information overload just like in your face words you know so i think yes come i agree with you there the, the the building is also having this conversation back and forth with the words and then with the viewer completely agree also the the one in the middle where you have the age your month date it's a separate line and then you have the hour minute second moment and then whatever is here so yeah I agree with you. Daylight is always required to see the effects of this art to get the real meanings of these words. But when it's all dark, you cannot find any meaning. Yes, the light uh, plays a main role in our life as well. Yes, yes, I'm vibing with you today. Yes. Completely agree. What else did I have to say? No, nope, that was it. <laughs> that was it. What else, guys? What do you, what do you guys have to say about this? So, okay, if you guys want to check him out, his it's, it's all caps B A K U Daku. Um, he he did some really really fun work so really enjoyed his work yeah I really i really like this work i don't know why this is this is really nice oh whoops i showed you the second one 
I don't know why Dark Daku either. I tried to find, but they just tried to ex- Google just tried to explain to me what Daku is, and I'm like, I'm sorry, Google. I know Hindi. I know what Daku is. Jakoi mat batao. Mujhe mujhe already pata kya hai Daku. The whole facade is uh, bilaterally symmetrical, which kinds of add a very balanced feeling to the whole installation. Oh yeah, it is. It is symmetrical. Yes, yes. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I felt. So, like, if you like cut the yeah, if you, if you cut the cut the uh, picture from center, right from the arch, like uh, vertically. I mean, the whole two pieces are balanced. He's chosen uh, the wall uh, or the building very, you know, after a after a lot of thought that how he wants to place uh, things like. Uh, be it the words which he has you know which are jutting out uh, uh, at perpendicular angle from the wall and yeah. then you have this facade which is uh, uh, very much uh, uh, balanced like you have two windows on the left two windows on the right and then you have an arch in the between so it's not it's uh, it, it's not like something very haphazardly he has mm. put together he's You're thought right. he's very well well thought of how he wants to uh put together the whole art piece and uh, hence what he's taken forward so yeah, yeah. Right. the the symmetry plus yes yes completely <laughs> there's a lot of sense of symmetry to this yeah. artwork besides you know it it being a kind of a sensorial one uh, for the audience yeah, yeah, yeah. no completely again because till now i hadn't i hadn't noticed the the, the building in question i just kept seeing what was happening on it but you're right the, the not just the symmetry but also the fact that it's it's a completely white building it is no other yeah, i mean things it's that just is like, changing it's just like your, a sorry? juxtaposition to a blackboard in which mm-hmm. you you know your oh, board yes. is black you write with a white chalk here yes. is a white board with which shadows are playing with like a black uh, chalk sort of a thing whatever the shadows falling so it's kind of a uh uh like you know it's a very deep rooted thing this this whoever this artist is daku is a, is very well versed and very uh, mm. thought uh, mm. he's put in a lot of thought before uh, he has come up with uh, such a magnanimous piece out there you are completely right yes the chalkboard has just made sense to me in my head right now right now it just clicked i didn't i just didn't it, in my head i just never thought of the building for some reason so you're right the symmetry does add on to it and the fact that it is very clean and white oh, i didn't notice that mama you always come and you just like kind of like blow my mind and just go away <laughs> <laughs> okay. i mean we all are all are uh, you know kind of expressionists out here we all have yes. our our uh, you know perceptions and views i mean your beard is different than my beard so and all <laughs> beards are welcome in this group yeah and they come together <laughs> yeah in harmony yes <laughs> Okay, right. it reminded me of course of writing in my childhood. Yeah, it did. Yes, it reminded me of that too. You know, because it's like you're forced to write cursive for some reason. My handwriting has never been cursive. Still, I'm forced to write like it. The impressions on the mind, life writes with its words. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Like English words with Hindi, matra on top. Oh yeah, the line, the line kichna. Yes, I think that is that is like a. thing that i mean well obviously he must have thought of it it was going to come up but then that's that's like the horizontal it's like this right these are the words and they've put up like that but yeah that work it works in the hindi lining also okay so maine galti se dikha diya hai but chalo next wale pe chalte hain guys if you have nothing else nothing more to add to this i would like to move on to the next one next one is very interesting very very interesting my dog is being very naughty in the kitchen right now i can hear it kuch to mila hai bacche ko wo khayega anyway so this this is something that i really really liked and i thought this is hauntingly beautiful uh this is uh this is uh, this is an artist called wolf gang wolf gang stiller um this specific piece is called matchstick men uh he's remade this a, a couple of times the first time he made it was in 2013 um he is a very different kind of an artist he does a lot of different things and kind of 
repurposes these things. Um, so, for example, this specifically, uh, he was helping out on on a on a, a movie in Beijing, Beijing, China, and he made these um, face sculptures and faces basically. Um, for because he was helping in a movie in some sort of a capacity and lying around in his studio at that point of time were these faces uh, of the men that you see here so he combined that with wood and he just came up with this idea of of these burnt matchsticks it is very hauntingly beautiful i absolutely love it so okay so he's also a professor he teaches as a guest lecturer um he's a sculptor sculpture artist he is also an installation artist based on where he is he he uh, puts the matchsticks in in different different way um actually saying i thought it would be matchsticks heads candle tops it is exactly you can't miss the fact that it's they are matchsticks you know and like that to burnt matchsticks um sustainable art wait i'll get to that so in a sense it is but i wouldn't call it 100% sustainable sustainable art because so sustainable in the sense that he kind of reuses the works that he has lying around in his studio or has lying around in his in his wherever he is at a given point of time he was in berlin once then he went to beijing then he was in new york for 8 years so wherever he is he just kind of refurbishes his work again and again in different ways but you will never be able to you know like pinpoint where it has been taken from you know um so yeah so i i thought so this is a piece that actually put him on the map uh, there is no you know like this crazy story about wolfgang stiller he's a very you know he's like a very common man who worked hard for his art career he was a graphic designer then he had a degree in fine arts and then he just like pushed himself pushed himself to the point where he reached here and um and yeah he he does a lot of <laughs> fun things uh so this piece in specific uh, i really enjoyed because first of all yes it is hauntingly beautiful because this the expressionless faces is amazing also the match boxes that you see a lot of people have perceived it as coffins for the people that are in it you know the matchstick men that are in it um they all are very traditionally chinese looking men uh because that's the sculpture pieces he had laying around when he was working in beijing china so wait i'm missing out some comments the light the slight great discoloration on the one stick what attention exactly. yes yes i'm going to wait this one look at that look it's 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 a little bit of oh not just the fact that he has that uh, uh, um what is it called what is it called what is it called are wo hota hai na wo texture <laughs> words forget what he's given thought to the texture but he's also given thought to the color and he's also given thought to how it's going to come up you know like niche wala it's it's like you've almost burned the match stick but not you know the aadhe mein karke nikal diya hai wo match stick was i love the attention to detail that he has enjoyed my dog has enjoyed doing whatever not in as she's done in the kitchen right now um uh it's just amazing stirs you up the matches are all used so dead hence the coffin exactly so uh okay 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so many thoughts in my mind they're all racing i will take them one by one okay so a lot of people believe that they're not dead but they are used men and then thrown away second yes a lot of people do believe that they're dead because they are lying in coffins a lot of people also believe that so it's it's very open to interpretation because he wanted it to be open to interpretation so let me let me read out this quote that wolfgang has wolfgang has all has said about the piece itself uh, the installation i'll repeat it the installation can appear like a battlefield or just like some playground where someone played around with matches and dropped them all the heads i've used uh, so far are from chinese people these this sometimes leads to the assumption that this is a criticism of the chinese government one can read it that way but i think this metaphor could be used for any western system as well the match boxes could be simply seen as formal elements within the installation as coffins or simply as match boxes i actually like to keep it open since i don't like art that leaves no space for one's own imagination do you want me to repeat it i'll repeat it uh the installation can appear like a battlefield or just like someone some playground where someone played around with with matchsticks and robbed them all the heads i've used so far are from chinese people this sometimes leads to the assumption that this is a criticism of the chinese government 
one can read it that way but i think this metaphor could be used for any western system as well the match boxes could be simply seen as formal elements within the installation as coffins or simply as match boxes i actually like to keep it open since i don't like art that leaves no space for one's own imagination so it is very open to interpretation a lot of people believe they are dead some people believe that they are used and thrown some people believe also worn out men i believe that they are worn out um i also think that they are like you know, but yeah so yes dead you are bang on right there this really makes you think about the guy who has done this the person becomes more important than his work who can think like this man that's the best part aunty i love so i agree with you completely i was like i need to know about wolfgang i need to know where he's coming from what his idea is you know why did he reach her and then it just all got like poof it just went away because because it was like oh i found these things and they look like these things and he just made it it was just this random put together thought that that probably that was flowing around in his mind one evening which is what i which is what made me like this piece even more you know it's not it's not like he sat down he's like hmm the next kya banaunga you know it was like something that he himself as a person just had these thoughts going around saw something and he was like yep this is going to go together really well so absolutely loved it uh we usually discard a used matchstick it's useless now maybe he's trying to emphasize how we throw away things once we no longer need them exactly yes i completely agree with you because actually if you think about it there are very few people i have seen who actually you know say kuch jalaya and then they like keep it on the side they actually just throw it away so i do believe that there is a very big emphasis on throwing things away after after a point where there is no longer any need for them you know also you see that they're not completely burned wait i'll i'll show you they're not completely burned they're just like the tiniest tip to matlab first try mein jal gaya usko jo jalana tha usne wo jala bhi liya you know it's not completely burned out um it's the moment when life snuffs out for a matchstick yeah that's such a beautiful sentence uh people are burnt out dead inside maybe they feel disposable yes maybe they do feel disposable i did not think of that yes completely agree with you also the dead inside part yes i do think that it could be that they're dead inside um did we uh, i wanted to say something yes please go ahead um if you look at the the first picture that you showed us you know all the faces are looking up and they look pretty grim you know could it could you also i mean like the first one that i saw i felt that you know all of these matchsticks could get together and you know wage a war <laughs> yes yes you know, against somebody who's who's destroyed them i don't know that that came to my mind so he also mentions right in in the quote that i wrote he does mention that it's kind of like a battlefield you know everyone coming together and and that's how like you know battlefield is left in the end you know scattered bodies everywhere so it could be that they are walking into it however though that's very interesting because i only saw i mean i'm saying interesting as if this is like a new thing but you are a different person i'm a different person i don't know why sorry uh but i did not see any expression in their faces i saw the the chin up i thought that was pride which has burned them out you know pride usually burns you uh you know in that ideal ideology but i didn't see any expression in them they they are pretty expressionless for me which is why it is more haunting you know like why do you not have any expression like this is probably this is the last last expression you made before you were burnt out and you died and it is absolutely expressionless um actually it's very funny because you know uh, if you burn so the rest of the body is burned but this is only charred and you can see every part of the of the face you know so you don't have hair and that's it otherwise and and you know the skin and everything and and you can see the you know whether they are you can see the nose mouth and everything and, okay. and the eyes are closed so uh, so it's very okay. funny because you know if, if they are burnt then it should not be like that right true the smooth smooth but, faces but if you but if you do see a, a match stick in the end you do see this one gomba no but you are right in the end jalne ke baad usme che che se dikhte bhi hain it 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 does have a texture you're right it shouldn't look like this but it there and it's weird it's weird and i love it i'm here for it 
um, also mastics are used to set something on fire. Maybe it's a subtext that these people have been used or burnt out for a social or pro political propaganda that's destructive. Set something on fire, fire. Yes, I did get that. I went in the direction of gaslighting that these people gaslight people and then obviously it's not ever going to work for anyone. So that's how they die. I went in that direction, but I agree with you, Amrita. Could they be laborers? They could be anyone. It's absolutely open to interpretation, as I as as he mentions himself. It's very much open to interpretation. Also, the way that he lays them out in the coffin, outside the coffin. Some people are together in one coffin. Uh, some people together in one matchstick reminded me of those. You know those those uh, in symmetries. You have these uh, family burials. You know where like there's one family. I can only think of box now. What is it called? Yeah. One small shrine kind of thing and underneath it, the entire family is buried. That's what it reminded me of there. Um, could be ones that went out as soon as they were lit. Yeah, yes, yes. That is very much possible. That is very much possible. Um, if it is a narrative of the Chinese society, it makes a lot of sense, a lot of sense since a lot of labor uh, atrocities happen there. Exactly. You know, like he mentions, it is... A lot of people do end up thinking that it's the Chinese government um, because of the faces and also because there is a lot of things happening in that area. Um, but again, open to interpretation as, as, and how you, as in how you view it. But I do agree with you there. Sorry, Desh Mama, you were saying something? Yeah, I want to say, like, if you take us back to that picture, those uh, burning matchsticks where all the heads are looking up. Not this one. Yeah, this one. Yes. Yeah. So... It, and he says that the inspiration has been drawn from uh, the Chinese men. It kind of takes me back to, like, I saw this and then you said that, you know, I mean, the, uh, the inspiration has been these Chinese men and then the whole government thing going on, on mm -hmm. like the whole the paragraph that you read to us. Mm -hmm. It kind of, it's very funny, but then looking at these faces of these Chinese men, it kind of took me back to this, uh, the those those uh, terracotta army uh, soldiers you know that were excavated long back uh, if you remember like we, we see this in all those chinese movies and uh, you know the, from where uh, xian uh, in china you know the, 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 those those terracotta figures who were which were excavated and uh, and then you saw uh, that these army of soldiers and the, these faces and those faces are very much uh, relatable they are just standing there and like it's all yes. dead. So it somehow kind of made me feel that this uh, wolf gang guy might have had taken inspiration from, you know, those those terracotta uh, figures of those uh, army soldiers. And uh, because they look very much alike and they all are looking yes, upwards. Yes. So. Oh, I completely agree with you. Yes, as soon as you said it, yes, all, the entire terracotta armies, you know, that they're, they're just like buried when you're like these archaeologists have found. There's so many yeah, of them. They yeah. do look exactly like that. Wow, you're so right. That again so adds on to the, the war and you know how they, they were willing to you know give up their life to... Yeah. So in a way what? They were being used, right? Yes. The soldiers were being yes. used. Once, once the war is done, battle is done, if they are dead, they are used, they are disposable, consumed, Correct. dead and gone. And so is the very much, uh, maybe uh, you can say a, a, a sort of uh, you know, analogy to these burning dead man sticks. Maybe. Oh yes, completely agree. Yes, another bomb you've heard. <laughs> completely agree. So, Absolutely. I thought, but the beauty is that, that the way he's retained the texture of a you know of a charred match stick yes. after it's burnt with the with the with the whole uh, yellow and the orange line of of the uh, melting uh, sulfur. Uh, on the others on the edge of it, it it's beautiful the, it's yes. beautifully done i mean it is I what agree. what's the material used though i am i'm not sure what's the material so, used here so it is a uh, uh, wood plaster and pu so the the faces that he made was for huh. so it happened to be at the time when he was helping out for a movie in beijing china which is why they are chinese men uh so the faces he made were, was out of plaster the 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 texture so he the, the the rest of the, the stick that has been made you would think it's wood but it's actually not it's pu and then covered with wood uh, uh, and then painted on it so it's like a mixture a combination of a few things that is the, these are the three materials that he used in the very beginning uh, in 2013 when he first made it also 
also it's very funny like since that this entire like we are living in this time of pandemic and you know the first thing the first ever ads that started spreading around for social distancing were when they were showing these videos of yes. these burning matchsticks put together yes. if you might and have you seen have to, you know, it's just a satire it's, it's such yeah. a satire yeah. on 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 china right now mm-hmm. and i mean this particular uh, installation should go out there out loud and proud uh, you know that you know i mean it's it, i can think it in levels and layers i i can just not articulate it right now but it's beautiful uh, that it, this thing you have put across right now that we are talking about and you know the burning matchsticks mm-hmm. how they are so so much uh, uh, reflective in current times that we are supposed to social distance this 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 art piece should this guy should like you know use it right now this is the time for it i i just loved it and i i found out today so i thought this was like you know this is the one time that he did it this this is why wolfgang stiller was put on the map i knew him because of my professors but i didn't know his piece and he made this in 2013 he's remade it in 2018 and then again in 19 but i think it's still very much valid and i feel like it's never not going to be valid it's always going to remain it's valid time, 2020 is the time for his art actually piece yes and the one that you're talking about so uh, the guys if you if you don't know the the the, the instagram video that that we are talking about basically it was about telling people how social distancing will help so it's a it's a it's an animation where there is like a you know like a line of a line of uh, matchsticks and then one starts burning so when one burns the second one is burning the third one is burning fourth one is burning but the fifth one he just steps aside so because he steps aside there is a gap between like, the the four and the broken. fifth one so he doesn't burn Uh, and then the rest of the line stays unburned yeah. uh, which is yeah. what the the piece was that was also yeah. a beautiful piece went around and so i completely yeah, so no more it. burning men no more dead men uh, social I, yes. distance yeah i agree i agree so, yeah completely agree wait i missed some thank you mama i missed some on the chat okay um na could be the ones that went out as soon as they were lit yes this i completely agree with you it could be ki as soon as they started out wherever they were starting out they 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 just burnt like wild fire uh if it is a narrative of the chinese society it makes a lot of sense yes yes uh this shows and proves it actually shows a lot of it, it I I think it could be a commentary on a lot of different governments you know like in in different ways it does have a lot of layer in that in that area uh it has a lot of depth in that area so uh, yeah i completely agree with you uh the shows and proves people are disposable yes sadly it does till now i thought i am we are getting sad here mama stop nagar to mama stop as i agree to got on me yes remind me of the image of the burning with this monk oh i don't know about this can you please send me the link in the chat or somewhere else wherever you can i would love to see this this burning with this monk uh the dancing girl on uh, jadaro ex- excavation oh yes no wait am i thinking about the right one am i thinking about the right one i think i'm thinking about the right one because i agree uh what about the rest of the body no hands or legs about so i i thought of that i thought of why no legs and no hands but if you think about it if you imagine you know uh, splinters could have been the hands and the legs but it would have become too on the nose it would have been too in your face these are men you are burning right now it's this subtle commentary which is going to make you think too much and and take you deep within you as to how people are disposable or how you're using your laborers or or how you are burning people you know like it just I think it's just a subtle commentary on that. If you did, if if it if it had hands and legs, I do believe that it would have been very in your face. I think it wouldn't have worked as well here because, yeah, I think the subtlety just adds on to on to the whole thing, you know. So you may want to disagree with me completely. Uh, so yeah, the reason why. So uh, this is you can buy this. So now Tanmay, coming back to our conversation in the beginning, you can buy this. You can buy like three or two. a uh, mat stick men um which is what they are called uh, and that would be a sculpture piece but why is this installation because for uh, for example he right here this is a space in berlin uh, the the one he did in 2013 um the one he did in 2018 in 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 new york was in another gallery so according to the space he would lay out the people so like i mentioned at the beginning he is using the space to lay them out in a certain way uh, which is why it's an installation now in this a lot of art pieces like like we know we you can't touch them you know they they're forbidden to touch uh, but again a lot of installation pieces involves you 
to walk into the piece you know so as all of these lie dead you would be able to walk into this installation and be the one who's alive probably not completely probably like them you are dead inside or probably like them i got morbid quick uh, or probably like them someone is uh, using and throwing you away you know i think i think this is giving me like a bit of a not a flashback of sorts but it's making me recall this project as supposed to be working on it's in process i mean it's been derailed because of the lockdown so there's a designer we know who's working on i don't know whether i mentioned this before there's a designer we know who's working on like a exhibit installation of the jallianwala bagh massacre and we were yes. supposed to provide we were supposed to provide the fragrant elements a bit of you know it's supposed to smell a little like gunpowder a little like blood and a little like uh, heat so i i agree with you this 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 does again yes agree with you jallianwala jallianwala that massacre <laughs> i will ruin the name i will massacre the name uh, yes i can see how this would be valid there i think this this would be valid for a lot of wars you know a lot of places where you've lost tons of life together you know because then you see it as oh these many people died you know you don't see as how many of them were these individuals living the living these very individual lives you know it's like a oh itne one, itne chale gaye one more ye actually here uh, i think there was a so uh, van gogh's room that we discussed when we were discussing van gogh yeah. uh, when we discussed impressionist painters the room we discussed the room he painted his room yes Oma had an exhibit, an installation which involved his room made into like a place you could go and sit in. Made into what? Sorry, I didn't get that. So the room, right? The room was converted into an installation which you could interact with. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. Yes. You could I go and sit on the bed and like look at the room around you as, you know, the original hmm. as the painting. Hmm. Which was pretty incredible. So I'm, I'm guessing that would be an installation again. The, yes. So. Uh, so i'm guessing mixed reality again it plays into that performance art slash yes yes, yes. installation segment oh, yes okay. again so yeah that, that's what i was trying to say so this is this is clear installation here because it wants to be interacted with you know oops i just <laughs> i do that every minute okay what else guys do you have anything else to say here otherwise we'll move on to the next one just keep a photo all the dikha chuki <laughs> like a stupid person <laughs> wait let me see what i had to say okay said that said that oh in the beginning when this was first made forgot to say mention this in the beginning when this was first made in 2013 when it was uh, uh, showcased in berlin a lot of people had a had a lot of uh, a lot of people had very aggressive emotional response to this piece a lot of people had to like either walked out or they started crying because they had very emotional response some people laughed really loudly because it it reminded them of this bobble head you know those bobble head figurines you get where you know it's like nothing else but just the idea of the head moving so a lot of people had a very strong emotional response to it uh, there is a very uh, uh, well we spoke about this you know there's a there's a, a conversation between death and mortality happening here um along with that uh, yes it's very open ended the artist wants you to think of what you want to think of it how you want to interpret it um what else what else what else what else oh क्या लिखा है मैंने मुझे खुद की हैंडराइटिंग ही समझ नहीं आ रही है तो मैं क्या बोलूंगी वेट व्हाट इज दिस आ मूवी यस आई सेड दैट लाइफलेस फेसेस इट्स दैट्स अबाउट इट एनीवन एल्स डज एनीवन एल्स वांट टू से एनीथिंग अबाउट दिस और वी विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट वन इज अ लिटिल इमोशनल आई लव हर शी इज अ ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट शी इज डन अमेजिंग वर्क अम करी श्री गणेश आगे आगे बढ़ते हुए आगे बढ़ते हुए हम देखेंगे अब इनका काम सो दिस पीस इंस्टॉलेशन पीस दिस पीस इज कॉल्ड लेटर ऑफ थैंक्स वाज मेड इन 2013 इट्स बाय आई एम गोइंग टू रूइन द नेम विद माय प्रोनंसिएशन बट इट्स कॉल्ड इट्स बाय चिहारू शियोटा आई एम जस्ट गोना राइट हर नेम इन द इन द चैट बिकॉज़ शी इज अ ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट व्हाई इज माय चैट नॉट वर्किंग गाइस my chat is not working chiharu it's c h i h a r u shihota um letter of thanks so she is very well known for uh, the kind of work that you see right here so it's uh, imagine no paper and imagine keys uh, or imagine anything else other than the paper you know so so the the, the strings remain the same like the similar Uh, a web like structure uh, and then things that are caught in between them 
uh, they differ from from time to time. So this one is letter of thanks. All the letters, the the pages that you see in it, they have a small light that has uh, that that is behind them or or you know hidden carefully. So the letters actually feel like they are lit up. They are alive. Um, they are in this web. Uh, uh, the color of the web matters. Uh, so this one is black in color. There is another one she did, which is red in color. There's another one which is white. The one, the, the this one here specifically being uh, black is because when this was exhibited, uh, it was exhibited in a, in a in a museum that she used to uh, visit with her father a lot. And at that point of time, her father was really really sick. Uh, when she was young, when her when she and her father would go to this museum, he would tell her uh, that you know he believed in her and that one day uh, she would be able to exhibit 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 something in in a, in this museum. And uh, when she did, uh, he was too too ill to come and see it, and she actually lost him. Uh, while this uh, installation was still on. So the, the black was the, the feeling, I mean, a lot of people have interpreted that the black color of the thread is the feeling that she had at that point of time because of what she was going through with her dad. Um, so yeah, so the, the color of the string is also very important in, in her work. Um, so the the paper that you see uh, caught in between this this beautiful web that she creates, it takes it takes weeks at a time to create this entire web because it's not just in one in one room it actually moves from one room to another usually uh, and it's it's magnificent it's huge um so the letters uh, more on that uh, so the letters are from people from all over in japan from kids as young as two years old to people as old as you know just like almost uh, living have lived their entire lives or about 80 or more uh, they've given letters so so it not just has people thanking other people in their lives, but it also has like, you know, because children, they're so young, they're probably like scribbling something, they've drawn some things, you know, so it's, it, it differs a, a lot. Um, so it's basically her letter of thanks, this entire installation is kind of her letter of thanks to her father uh, for raising her the way that he did. Um, this was, I'm sorry, this is, just, this is absolutely beautiful um, because in a lot of ways, she's not just talking about how the letters are thanking people. She's kind of taking all those, when you're writing something, right? You're writing, you're writing a piece, when you're handwriting it specifically, you are not just writing what your ideas, your thought and your memory is. You're also kind of stopping time in that, in that moment when, you, when you're connecting yourself with the paper and then with the paper, you're connecting to that other person that you're talking about. So it's not just the thanks and the feeling that is caught up in the web, but it's also time that has been caught up in the web, which is why I, I believe that this is, this it's, it's a beautiful piece, uh, especially the light that has put up. If you can see the paper, they do feel like they're lit up and, and they're alive. Um, they're, they're absolutely incredibly beautiful. In this specific piece, the first one, she had 2,400 letters in, in, her, uh, in her installation. Um, Later on, she had about 10,000 pieces. You know, I, is anyone writing anything on the chat? It was like, my chat is stuck and I can't see it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Anyway, uh, if anyone has to say something and I'm not able to read it, please uh, unmute yourself. Okay, um, so yeah, so like I mentioned, it was her dad's wish uh, that she would one day, or actually she hoped that she would one day. M Mom, give me Everybody one... is writing on the chat. Okay. Everybody is writing on the chat. Okay, give me one second then. One second, guys. Thank you for telling me. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I did not read all of that. Wow, I missed a lot. Chat just got stuck for some reason. It's okay. Ah. No problem. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Thank you. Huh. Um, no, I missed too much. <laughs> guys, wait. What miss ho gaya? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, that's what society does to you. Burnt out minds. Yes, mom. I'm so sorry. I read, just read this. Uh, reminds me of the faces of Leshavda Deathrata. Yes, you're right. Yes. To light la la, la. You have to burn your ego. Yes. Wow, I missed a lot. Wow. Kahan kab bandhu ki chat. Um... Yes, I agree with you. The the ego burning you up. Yes, completely agree with you there. 
also reminds me of a young girl who kept making bonfire of the matches <laughs> yeah i'm kind of a pyromaniac uh ego concept yes i yes i do like the ego concept a lot uh okay wait so i'm just going to skip the one uh, because i completely missed that um are these papers yes they are papers they are handwritten letters to other people giving thanks or just uh, uh, mentioning what someone did for them and they they really appreciated um looks like a glass sh- chandelier <laughs> yes um uh, shilo shil suleman does work that seems like this okay i will look into that i have tried to figure out it um very ethereal yes some very powerful evocative work this looks like underwater image of sea pollution oh yes oh yes it does oh i didn't notice that it does doesn't it you know all the plastic getting stuck in the, oh yes yes it does completely agree to mama i'm vibing with you right now is the coexistence of gratitude and grief stunning i know i know drishya exactly why this is such a, i love this piece it is the coexistence of gratitude and grief oh yes i'm trying to imagine other colors it's like the weeds collecting the rubbish and getting infested yes 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 wow we have found a hole nagarjun mama you found a whole new level to this piece that was that didn't even exist absolutely love it love it um if it is paper the artist needs to be hanged for destroying so much <laughs> mama you have taken this environmental route <laughs> let's come back from there uh but yeah uh, i mean you have the thread also so there is gold we can go in that direction if we want to i feel uh, she has added light intentionally in order to emphasize the shadows add more chaos yes yes uh the light uh, is is yes there is emphasis on the shadow express, especially the back and forth with the black of the thread and the white of the paper but also because they do feel alive you know they, it 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 comes up you don't just see paper stuck you do seem like there is there is this halo light falling from heaven into this this piece you know yes amruta i was coming you beat me to it you beat me to it amruta i don't like you right now i'm kidding the red string in japanese culture is the red string of faith yes i am so upset right now that i you beat me to it i feel like if she made a version of this in red she has she has made one in red uh, that has uh, that that comes uh, it, it, so this is from wall to wall wall to ceiling uh, and papers in between the one with the red is a red wall to boat and instead of papers it has keys and they are called keys of memories basically keys that hold these beautiful amount of memories uh, which could open this door to a whole new day um you know that's a whole other piece beautiful that was the first piece i i i saw of course but yes continue here um made a made a try since they all intertwined it had meaning with black thread it becomes like gratitude glowing in the midst of shadows of life yes so amruta completely agree with you a little bit about the red string uh, string of fate theory so in 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 so it's it's a it's an asian cultural thing it's different it the the, the where the string uh, attaches itself from whom to whom and from where to where differentiate differences between um different shades between japanese culture korean culture and chinese culture it basically is the red stream of faith uh, it's kind of like soulmates coming together so it's like two people are constantly connected with this invisible thread which is red in color um in some cases it's it's the pinky finger to pinky finger where it's connected some some it's it's uh, wrist to wrist some it's thumb to pinky uh, basically saying that that connection will never be broken it can be tangled it can be long it can be short but it can never be broken because you are your soulmates um i till where i remember i may be getting this wrong but in korean culture it's only soulmates where you are two people are meant to be together forever but in other cultures it is it can be connected with anyone that you're that you're really really close to so it could be me and my mom it could be me and anyone uh you know someone who i am absolutely connected with with my heart and soul so it's an invisible uh it's 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 uh, it's shown in naruto actually very beautifully done it's between uh, hinata and naruto where you know there's a it's a, it's a red scarf that she show that she sews for her knits for her it's it's, a, it's actually very beautiful they aren't papers they are letters uh, so no waste wow amruta 
yes, yes, I mean, still waste, but yes, it's letters. Uh, it shows how everyone in the world is interconnected. Yes, Pragya, you got exactly what she was trying to say. Yes, everyone is connected. You know, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a, the world is such a, it's you know, such a small world, you know, that, that line comes to my mind when I, when I see this piece, how we all help each other and need each other from now. Exactly. And we all are connected in some way or another. Uh, Cheta Malvi says blood blood bond. No, it doesn't have to be. So the red string of fate doesn't have to be a blood bond. It could be any kind of bond that is unbreakable. This can be a perfect example to explain Google or Facebook. Yes, 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 yes. It does translate into this this uh, internet web world of ours where everyone is connected, where everyone is stuck to it. It does. It will take you a while to get out of it, but everyone is is connected. Anime knowledge eleven to ten. I love you, Amrita. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, here for you. Did you hear that? My anime knowledge is 11 out of 10. Anyway, where everyone is entangled in the web. Yes, Nagarjuna Mama, I completely agree with you. It is everyone's tangled together. It's a small world. You may be worlds apart. You may be centuries apart, but you know, you are connected with the thread. Um, yeah, I just, I, I absolutely love these pieces. Wait, wait, wait. I have, I have to say more. So, ooh, this was a very hard year for her. She... She battled cancer. She lost her father. She had a miscarriage. She went through a lot, uh, which is why it was so important for her to have these letter of thanks. And it was not just her letter. It was everyone thanking other people. It's not just about the fact that you were thanking people and you were appreciating others, but you wanted, she wanted to spread this out in, in, you know, in the world where she, where she was able to do it in Japan very successfully, where she's like, everyone should appreciate each other. You know, so loved it. Um, Red is like heart, color of heart is red and red is uh, the color usually used to represent heart and gratitude to come from the heart. Yes, take a shot every time Pragya writes heart now. <laughs> no Pragya, I completely agree with you. Um, it also comes from, uh, you know, in Chinese culture, red is, uh, um, I forgot the word, you know, but the, 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 the purity and everything. So you basically wear the color red when you're getting married to someone uh, or you have to wear it at one function at least. So, yes, uh, I meant they are controlling your threads. <laughs> yes you're not wrong it uh, yes it adds there too you're completely right uh, it reminds me of the neurons uh, in our brain oh yes wait yes yes i was about to say that uh, actually uh, neurons? this yeah so this this it's very uh, it's a, it's a very cool thing. I, I thought nobody will know about synapses. So I, I refrained from talking about that. But yes, it, yes. Thank you so much for bringing this. It, it, it actually looks like the, the neurons in your head, uh, which have, uh, you know, when like one nerve ending and the other nerve ending, when they meet together, there's this electrical thing between which called electrical synapses. Mm -hmm. And those electrical synapses look like, uh, you know, these, these lights, which are, which are flashing here and there through the, uh, pages and everything um, also these these uh, uh, pages uh, which are webbed and interconnected and going from one room to the other and all it's like a new like it's like a dimension of a brain of a memory uh, inside her brain where she is uh, uh, you know kind of because she's been through so much of hardship like miscarriage and death and cancer and whatnot so she's put it out there she's like literally opened up her brain and put it in that space. I mean, there is a reason why she has interconnected all all these things. I mean, to to a very uh, neurological level, if I talk about it, 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 it's actually her brain that she has put it out there with memories, which are nothing but electrical impulses, which she has uh, reflected there. So yes, it's it's. Thank you so much, whoever said that synapses thing. Yeah, completely <laughs> agree with you. I think that was Drisha, but yeah, I completely agree with you, Mama. It, it, exactly what you've explained right now. That's exactly how I see it. You know, it's the, the lights. Yes, absolutely. Basically, you said it perfectly. It's, I don't want to it's it's like a new portal of a brain where she she has brought out all these memories of thanksgiving each and everybody who has been in her life. I think so. Uh, it's a very emotional piece. Very, very strong emotional piece, though it looks very graphical. But yes, um, it, very, it looks very, it, it looks very sci-fi at the same time. Um, and yeah, uh, like somebody said in the chat, they are all interconnected. They are, it's a very interconnected uh, worldwide web of her memories in front of you. Peace out. Correct. Yes, yes, very well said, Mama. Yes, completely agree. Completely agree. Yes, 
just can't move on now. I just love this. Just love this. We went to sea pollution. We went to neurons. We went to tangled in the web. I love it. Amazing. I'm loving this conversation. I I forgot what I was saying. I'm very speechless right now. Just it was just like you said, Mom. It's just so nice, and it it's just it, it is graphic, but it's so emotional. And like someone said, it's not just gratitude, but it's it's gratitude and grief. <laughs> Stop, baby. Anyway, <laughs> ha. Let me say what I wanted to say. I have notes. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway. Um. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, so this is something that she mentioned about this piece herself. It's her one of it's like a part of a quote. Learning the ability. Okay, so this piece helped her in learning the ability of how the body. can let down the income in uh, the body can let down a beautiful spirit you know and because at this point of time when because of all of the things that she was going through even though her body was working her spirit did give up at one point of time yeah yes also again like i mentioned she was uh, thanking her dad through this um Oh someone did mention that there were like flies caught in this web you know like these 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 thoughts of these thoughts are kind of like flies that are caught in this this web black web of wait ma are you trying to say something yeah so gratitude is a positive emotion and positive emotions are very fleeting moments you know yes. uh, like love like uh, joy like uh, uh, you know uh, or gratitude you know so so these emotions are felt for only very fleeting moments okay so when when i heard devesh what i felt was that because a negative emotion stay in your minds for they can stay for minutes for hours for days years you know they can stay forever so she is trying to bring out all the positive emotions like gratitude love uh, you know and putting it out into an installation uh and lighting it up so actually this is her um th- that's what i felt after you know devesh spoke and i and i just relooked at it i felt she's brought out all her positive emotions so that they cannot be fleeting and they will not get over so fast and they'll be there for her to see and wonder and and reflect on and also for others to you know feel um and be part of her emotions I agree. I agree. Completely agree. I just. I'm sorry. Are you? Are you done? Sorry. I just got lost in thought. But yes, I agree. Um, and yeah, I, I, very beautifully explained by Reshma. I yes. I sorry. I keep thinking about it in my head. I'm supposed to say things out loud. Sorry. Yes. Um. Okay, another fun fact. You know how the, there's this a uh, uh, ritual that happens in in uh, Asian cultures where you when you visit a, a a religious temple or whatever religious area, you write these wishes down and then hang them from the trees or or for example, I think it's in it's in our culture also where you you know dhaga jo band lete ho tum ped pe ek mannat man mang ke it's kind of like that which is where she kind of for initially got her uh, inspiration from. um also like i mentioned it's not just the yes the banyan tree yes correct uh, also like i mentioned in the beginning it's not just the fact that there are appreciations that are happening in the letter but it's also a time that has been stopped in that letter so it's it's, it's not just a web of gratitude and 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 appreciation it's also a web of time it she has kind of managed to keep time still with those letters within that web um, which is also absolutely loved it um what else did i have to say oh yeah fun fact she was actually sorry yes please go ahead can we see other colors also i'm i'm now I'll very curious to see white and red and I'll show you. yellow green if any other colors are yes give me one second give me one second so like i've mentioned before a few times in performance art or in in installation art the things that you use uh, you know why you are using that specific one so for your the specific color of the thread being black is important because you know the the emotion that she was going through was really strong and very deep and very into grief and almost like you know her, her dad going through uh, uh death it it has to be black you know it's it's that uh, numb feeling and that numb color 
uh, red being love, which is what memories is. I'll, I'll show that again. I'll show that in, in a minute. Give me one second. Am I missing anything? Or uh, oh yes, she's also trying to. She tangled these. Uh, relationships that are stuck in present and in past because the letters uh, they went on for a few years uh, that where she was trying to collect all of these letters so it's it's it's, it's a relationship not just gratification and appreciation it's also I've said that so many times but it's also a relationship in the present in the past if we see these letter to, letters today that were probably written by a two year old who is now a twelve year old um, you know it would be it would be that moment in time which she got us got to us. Right away. So uh, let me show you the other one uh, that you wanted to see, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So this is called Letter of Thanks. Let me show you a letter of thanks. Hmm. So this is the one in red this is the one in red so as i mentioned a little bit about this it's uh, it's keys here instead of um, uh, instead of letters uh, the keys so so the board representing that we all are in the same boat it's, i i do believe that in all of our pieces there is one cheesy line that you know we all say like you know what about a small place what about a small world you know all in the same boat it's just, but yeah, uh, she's trying to just say that, you know, we're all connected. Um, the keys uh, represent memories and these time portals where you could use. These are actual used keys by people uh, that were submitted. Um, and the keys are, are trying to show that, you know, she's trying to explain how not only can you walk into a whole new day, a whole new moment, uh, but it's also a memory that is all, uh, for example, the key I used every day for my house in Paris. I went through a lot in that entire year, but that key was with me constantly. I would come back at the end of the day and that key would be my portal to, you know, my solace, my, my, my uh, individual self sitting at home and rethinking about what has gone, what has happened throughout the day, right? So those memories, they are with me in, in that key and that's ever forever going to be between me and that key. Um, and it cannot you cannot experience that, but it still holds so much power and so much depth. Um, so each key is 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 representative of that. Um, so I really love. This was the first work, first first of her work that I had seen, and it's absolutely majestic and and beautiful. Uh, here is where the uh, uh, red of fate also. I mean, I thought came in, but uh, not exactly. But it's a you can still connect it here. Um, yeah. beautiful work beautiful work by her you can check out uh, a lot of other stuff also the one in white if there is one here with numbers this is uh, this is her one on education that she was showing um, I don't remember what the white one was for it was uh, I don't remember what the white one was for um this was not, you can see that these are letters again, but these are not letters of thanks. There's something else I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh, pondering over the thought as to why the letters are inaccessible and not legible. Huh. Okay. So inaccessible, I think, because they're all caught up together. You know, they're like stuck in that web. So I think inaccessibility, you can still read the letters if you go close enough to them. I don't think they're completely inaccessible, but I, I do understand your point. And not legible. So they are legible. I mean, you would have to know how to read Japanese. Uh, they are legible, but kid or kid versions are not legible. Also, it's not what they've written in the letters, but uh, just the fact that how much the letters carry with them, the, the feelings that the letters carry in them. You know, you don't have to completely read them to understand, but you, you just know. You know, the pressure of the pen will tell you, the, the, the scribble of the child will tell you how much feeling, aggression, love went into the letter. So I, I, I don't think legibility matters as much. You may want to disagree. Um, it looks like a gush of blood, actually. Henna? Yes, it does. I, the first time I saw this, I thought there was like the, the pirates dying at sea, but mm, loved it. Lasers, yes, yes, agreed. Uh, also amazing memories and emotions are private 
all these versions evoke completely different feelings exactly exactly trisha you have you have nailed her so uh, shioto has uh, so shioto uh, fun, the fun fact i was telling before uh, shioto uh, was uh, uh, trained under uh, marina abramovic uh, abramovic which who is a uh, performance piece artist and she is all about feelings and and body and how you can push yourself to a very different extent and feelings and and mind control is very important in in these aspects um so she picked that up from her and she is really focused on on feelings you know may it be any kind she is very focused on on feelings uh, uh, can you can show the one sorry can you show the one on the bottom left the one with like spider webs looking on yeah this yeah this one So it's the same artist, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's the same artist. So her her weaves, her webs will will make sure that it's her signature. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. I wow. Is that is that a before. cradle? Sorry. Is that like babies? Is that like beds for like babies? Is that like I, a crib or something? I think it's a. I think it's a hospital bed. I don't know much about this specific piece. Okay. Uh, I think this is an article about you. Okay, wow. But yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't know much about this piece. But you can, she is, she's a great artist. It's not just, um, you know, it's not just grief and gratitude and 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 love only. It's it's just every kind of emotion that we can find. Beautiful work, beautiful work by her. She's a great artist. Um, all these are ra. Love the fact that she, uh, she, love the fact the way she weaves her stories literally with threads and no organic. Stories. Yes, she is literally weaving her stories, literally weaving the entire metaphorical sweater of of the installation, and are expressed yet their reasons are not always clear. Yeah, well, so you always have this imagination left. You know, it's something left to the imagination. You need to find yourself in that installation piece. You know, you need to find. a little bit of yourself in in whatever you are seeing in art love love it i i i do believe that it's a successful piece when you are able to can come to your own conclusion uh, not just oh this is a mountain that's it i can't think more in it so i do believe that for me personally those are successful pieces uh, like amazing nest they look like bird nest yes they do look like bird's nest i do uh, yes i agree with you they also look like you know that the it's like taking over the place you know it's it's not always completely taken over it's it's like it is grasping its yeah, it's, 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 it's like it grows it grows on you yes it's, it's growing like you a know, tree and, like like yeah and like you get engulfed into it it's it's very hypnotic that way it's like it 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 grows on you and then you like it it like you get absorbed into this whole uh installation i mean that's the best way because installation that's the very much a, fact and like like that's the credit to the artist yeah. if uh, its pupil if its audience is able to you know get captivated into the whole artwork so i mean like your that farzan kafka's that rotating oh. yes. you know that like, thing it is so <clears throat> hypnotic again like you you keep on seeing it it keeps on changing faces all the time like you just cannot move your eyes from it for even a second Like here it, you are i think it's pulling it's, you into it yeah it pulls you in here in her artworks like you see it you know i mean she welcomes you into her own space like she welcomes you into her memory she welcomes you you know into her own uh, walk of life you know just come and experience and it's a very very sensorial experience installation and if that an installation artist is able to achieve be it daku or be it this woman uh I mean that's the whole point of put, putting yes. an installation at the end of the day. Yes, 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 exactly. Yes, that is the idea of the installation. You know, to pull you in, to to make you feel more than what you feel on a daily basis. Mom, and, and like the way she puts the threads and thing, it's it's very graphic. I mean, yes. that's something which and lot of such artworks. Uh, you know, in this last Kerala Biennale, if if anybody would have had gone. I I terribly missed. I feel so sorry for myself. <laughs> so, but if anybody would have had gone, they would have seen. They had they had a lot of uh, artworks uh, uh, in the similar style where you know the either the water was pouring from top it the mm -hmm. top or there were there were a lot of things hanging and mm -hmm. you know uh, <clears throat> levitating in the mid or middle air. Something was happening. So it takes me back to those artworks as well. Okay. Uh, like 2019 yeah. Kerala Biennale. you know if you get a get a chance have a look at those artworks they were brilliant all those installations 
Yes. Don't you feel that all these installations are live? They are alive. They are. And they are going. I, I don't agree. know why. I'll tell you. As if it's like, hmm. I'll tell you why I feel that way. Sorry, I'm cutting you off. I'll tell you why I feel like that. Because like you see right here, right? There is a cloud on top. But in the bottom, it is just one thread. Right. It's one thread that halfway through has found another one, which halfway through has found another one. It's kind of like, um, you know, you, 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 you crumble up metal scraps and then you hold a magnet over it. It's like that. It's like, it, it's, it's also, um, how do I say it? It, it? Whenever I see her pieces, it makes me feel very light because it, it always is going upwards. It's like it's pulling me up with it. I feel so light with it. Like even with this one, like we see right here, the one on education, it does feel, it make me feel like it's you know just going up in the air. You know, it's, it's taking me with it. I love it. I love her pieces. Absolutely love her pieces. Beautiful ones. Beautiful ones. It's hypnotic because Mithila called it Nagin. Yes. The Franz Kafka ka Nagin-like structure. <laughs> yes. Wait, let me see. Did I miss anything? Small world, commentary on world, string of faith. Yes. Everything. Ooh, yes. Uh, all the uh, letters are also evidence of existence. If we all die tomorrow, there will still be evidence that we lived and we appreciated things and people around us. It's also why I loved it. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yes. Wait, a quote from a quote from Shiodo. Uh, I'll repeat it twice to Marie. Relationships bring feelings to life. Okay. So string is like a feeling. The string is tight or tangled or cut. It's like a relationship from human to human. It's a mirror of my feelings. Loved it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. They are airy and alive. Exactly. They are airy and alive. This one was my favorite so far. Tingly in my brain. Hey, nah? yeah. I also like it so much. I like Shiva. Yeah. Anyway, wait. What else did I miss? Uh, inviting yet forbidding. We spoke about that like when, when you mentioned they are not uh, accessible. Uh... What else? What else did I miss? Yes, did I miss? I didn't miss anything else. Yes, and I finished it on time. I'm one minute late. I'm one minute late, but it's okay. It's fine. You can forgive me for being one minute late. I'm going to have nightmares around these two thoughts. Anyway, so this was a great one. I in, I enjoy Shioto a lot. You should really, you guys should really uh, find Shioto more. Shioto ke sare pieces kitne beautiful hai. It's just it just makes you think more and more and more. And more. Um. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, the next one, finally, last time I, I said this wrong, but uh, the next one is on color field, uh, which if I think I explained it last time, uh, but I'll explain it again. Um, basically, color field is where you, it, it's, it's, it's painting, where you've taken out any human connotations or objects or humans or anything and you're just left with color, just plain, simple color. And how that really uh, changes the way you look at things. Different colors mean obviously mean different things, but different shades also mean different things. And then uh, 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 red interacting with green, the conversation between them. So color field that's going to happen on Saturday, um, and that's going to be a great one. So you can check that out on my website or wherever you come from. <laughs> but yes, so thank you everyone for coming today. I enjoyed it. Thanks. And I am now going to awkwardly see the participant list go low. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm just going to awkwardly be here. I've already said bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still just going to stay here. I keep looking at it. Bye, Trisha. Hey, no? You guys don't want to go? <laughs> You keep talking. I have three more. Like I mentioned, there were seven. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming. I feel like, you know, party khatam ho jati hai, so you're like waiting. They're like, ah, thanks for coming. Bye. Chaliye. <laughs> Panguri, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You're here? Say no. What happened? <laughs> Who is here for you? I did this year for you, or con oga here for you. You think, yeah, Pankuri. Hi. Hello, so why, your... where is your DPA? Are it's my dad's uh, account that I'm using. 